Now, Chris 6 News at 6 continues. You know, it's not every day that you hear about federal and local organizations joining forces to work hand in hand, but we have such a partnership right here in Oasis County, and it can help save lives at a moment's notice. Chris 6 News anchor Paula Salazar was given exclusive access into the joint training between the Flower Bluff Fire Department and the U.S. Coast Guard Sector Air Station Corpus Christi. Position, we are in route. We're about to enter the Corpus Christi Bay. The Coast Guard sector out of Corpus Christi is responsible for an area that spreads between Port Lavaca and Brownsville and goes as far south as the Mexico border. Annually, it conducts over 450 search and rescue cases and assists more than 550 people in distress on average. Along with other duties and so much ground to cover, having a local resource nearby helps when minutes matter. At least a couple times a month, the Flower Bluff Fire Department goes through training to practice scenarios to save lives. Today, we're going to go through one of those trainings. We're all suited up. We're getting ready to head out. In 2013, the Flower Bluff Fire Department started responding to calls on the water. Roger, I understand. Five on board at 13 feet water depth. With the addition of a 22-foot Boston whaler, they've proven to be a valuable resource not only for the coastal area, but also the U.S. Coast Guard. But it's their joint training that's making a difference. Today, the helos are going to be doing rescue swimmer training. So they're going to be deploying the rescue swimmers. They're going to be practicing the free falls, practicing other deployments and recoveries. The fire department boat allows them to glide across the coastal waters at emergency response speeds to assist when called upon. Right. But it's the familiarity of their surroundings and team members that ensures a safe mission. It's important to train together because if you have to work together, especially in wee hours of the morning, you mm -hmm. need to know what each other is going to do and what you expect from each other. It's all about being on the same page. It was a pretty bumpy ride on the way out here, but they'll be deploying these rescue squimmers here shortly. As a helo approaches, the Coast Guard and Fire Department are in constant communication via a secure radio frequency. Practicing different scenarios and in different conditions helps not only the swimmers, but those on board the helo as well. And the pilots are obviously going to be training as well, as well as the flight mech. The flight mech is the guy who's operating the hoist and uh, just honing our skills. The day scenario is only practice for saving a stranded subject. As the swimmers, pilot, and fire department personnel go through the motions, they understand being prepared and aware is the difference between losing lives and saving lives. If you, uh, if you put the boat in the wrong place and the helicopter has an issue, they could actually land on you or you could actually impede them and get in their way while they're, they're trying to do something also. Since 2013, Flower Bluff Fire Department has responded to more than 200 water rescue calls and saved almost 60 lives. But it's what the two groups can do together they're hoping will add up. You saw the Coast Guard deploy some rescue swimmers. It's a scenario, it's training that they go through so they're prepared when the real situation happens. We're, we're all in the, in the same mission, you know, protect the public. In Oasis County, Paulo Salazar for Chris 6 News.